Okay, I've got a mini split unit, I'm installing. I'm doing a pressure test with, uh, actually, I'm using argon gas. You can use nitrogen. I just happen to have some surplus, but this is a 5 16 inch valve core remover. This is a quarter inch. I've removed the valve core here from the mini split, and then I've also removed the valve core of the pink 5 16 the side port. So those two are right down in here. And then I've got a pressure gauge here. This is just actually one that's from the Dark Ages, J.C. Whitney. Uh, this is shut off here so it doesn't leak through the gauge over time. Really, you don't want a rubber tube. You want this really connected up to here. But I don't have one like that rigged up. Or you can use a set of gauges. Here's a set of Testos. But you don't want to leave the gauge hooked up all the time because you'll leak through the rubber hoses. So that's the reason of the second shutoff here. Not using this. So I did have a leak because one of the flare fittings inside, I got sidetracked. It, these two were torqued up and then the other one in the uh, inside unit, one was torqued up and one wasn't. I got a phone call and hooked the gas up and it was, it went up to about 100 and it was slowly leaked down. So I finally came to my senses and went through and realized I had a fairly big leak. So found that, tightened it up. And this has been on 240, 250 now for a couple hours. I'll probably leave it all night. So, we've got this open. This is a regulator. Normally this is around 15, 1600 or something like that. But I'm about out of gas. That's why I got a nitrogen bottle here. This is one I normally use. So I'm going to open this up more and just see if we can hear some gas flow through here when I open this valve. Open that up. Now we're also up to about 280. Some say people say to go to 450. It's got on here the design pressure of this. This is a 12,000 aircon. Low side is 240, high side's 550. But the way this works is the expansion valve is on the inside of the unit, so technically. I only have one pressure fitting. All this really is the low side. Uh, it's dropping across the valve that's inside the unit. It's got a TXV that's metered with a stepper motor. And then both of these are on the low side, but it still is flashing into vapor on the inside unit. That's why these are uh, insulated both, but you don't have them touching. So. The pressure is actually not dropping uh, across. It's dropping across from here to the inside, but all the massive drop is across the uh, expansion valve on the inside of this outside unit. So I've got this open up to 280, and I think that's about all we got with this tank. We've got this open. Well, what you do is you get the gas into here, take a reading, and you shut this off. I'm going to shut this off. So both of these valves are shut off. Now you're just checking the integrity of the system here. So you let this sit for many hours, maybe overnight. See if it drops. If you use a digital gauge like this and you had it hooked up, you know, you're going to have leakage through the gauges and stuff. This is a brand new, too cheap of a hose. It's already got a hernia or something. And then my old gauges from 25 years ago, the, uh, got from Granger, the hoses are still good. So, some of the other people get a gauge like this 
like off an analog set and then have a fitting hook right up on the top here so it's just sitting up onto here. Then we're going to hook the other tank up and go let's see if we can go up to 350 or 400 maybe. Dumlop Ranch. I guess my grandfather's. We're going to shut this off. Close. I don't want the gas shooting out. So I'm going to go through and hold my finger on this. I don't have the washer going into outer space. Blow some of the crap out. I've turned this back down so I don't start and start low. There you get about new tank. I don't know if it's new. 2200. We're already up here to 280. Now, this says 300. Let's open this up. A little bit higher. Turn this a little bit higher. We have the gauge. We're going to bleed some off here. So I got the nitrogen disconnected, got the uh, pink 410A, this is a, why did you say 410A, this is a 5 16 inch mini split, uh, mega flow, epion, whatever, valve core remover, valve core remove is in here, plus in its body it's removed, the side port, there we are sitting at 400. If I kick it on, I'm going to kick it off. Have this off. I'll turn this back on after many hours to check it. And there you go. Okay, it's about 24 hours later. And we're going to put the pressure gauge back on. See if we're holding pressure. We'll put this on here. It'd be better if this didn't have a hose. But I actually discontinued, disconnected this. There was this was already shut off but there was some air that came out because the compressibility of the rubber hose so we're going to hook it up here and see how it goes okay we've got it attached and we're going to turn this on and see what happens Ooh, there we are a little under 400 We got about three, three hundred, three hundred ninety. That's going to vary around due to the air, air pressure. But we're going to say that's probably okay. Then we're going to go through and do a vacuum test too. So, got this open. Be better if this test gauge doesn't have any rubber hose because when you disconnect this you've got this shut off watch the air here so you just lost some air let's hook this back up again let's see what it goes to again Three ninety one, say. So we're good to go. Here's the valve core. This five sixteenths one has a magnetic piece. So I'm going to put this in here, put the valve core back in. 
of the unit. Here's the valve core. Put this back in. Pull this out. 